A homeowner contacted us because her fireplace was an eyesore and she was dying to have it replaced. It was bulky, it was badly made, it had seen every coat of paint possible, and it stuck out too far into an already very narrow room. And don't you love the mini columns? And they're broken too. I knew I wanted the new fireplace to be streamlined, a little more contemporary, and most definitely smaller. There was a lot to consider. The size and the depth of the mantle, the shape and the color of the tile, the color of the grout, and the color we were actually going to paint the mantle. Once we settled on the look, we brought in a team to help us with all the changes. We had to work with the existing gas insert, but everything else had to go. We weren't sure about the decorative front, so we were relieved when we saw that it could be popped right off. Now the homeowners have the choice of putting it back on if they want to, it's just a decorative accessory. Knowing that we were gonna paint the surround of the fireplace, we decided to go with the cheaper option and built the body with MDF and the trim with poplar. We're really happy with how it turned out. Even though we went with a slimmer, more streamlined look, we still kept a lot of surface for display on top. The best part about this mini makeover is that the homeowner actually gained a foot of space in the room. I love the tile we chose. It's a classic subway shape, but laid out in a herringbone pattern, and I think it looks really chic. The tile came on a mesh backing in a classic brick pattern, but we wanted these to be laid out in a herringbone pattern. So it was an easy fix. We just took an X-Acto knife, cut up the mesh, and there we had it, individual tiles. The simplicity and streamlined style of this fireplace allows us to take the decorating in any direction we want. I have two looks I want to try, so let's have some fun with this. This look is all about simplicity. You can't go wrong with symmetry. And this black and white color scheme was the obvious choice for a black and white fireplace. So we've got some black and white artwork right in the middle. We've added a pop of color with some flowers, stacks of books, all in the same color. And if you have a pair of chairs, use them to flank the fireplace. Now it's time for look number two. The second look is loose and collected. I ran all over the house to collect all of the homeowner's favorite things to display them on the mantle. I played with color, texture, and height to add some movement, and it's always nice to have a sculptural piece. And just like the last look, I flanked the fireplace with two elements, here with a ladder and an old chair. The trick to achieving this look is to have elements of different sizes and to create an overall triangle right in the center. The mistake a lot of people make with this look is they tend to display a lot of bitsy chashkas that are all the same size. And what I love about the simplicity of this mantle is that it's very versatile and it doesn't compete with all the collections displayed around it. There really is no one way of decorating mantle, but it does help to have a well-designed fireplace as a starting point. <laughs> 